In this video, I'll show you how to use the Print GoCo machine to expose StencilPro using artificial light or even sunlight. No flash bulbs required or even harmed. First step is to print your black and white image on transparency. It should fit within the boundaries of a 4 by 6 inch rectangle. In the video, you'll notice I trimmed the transparency, but it's not necessary. Now cut a piece of black construction paper and stencil pro to approximately 4 and 5 eighths by 6 and 5 eighths inches. Be sure to return the light sensitive stencil pro in its protective bag. Time to prepare the print goko as an exposure unit. Place the black paper on top of the printing plate. Now place stencil pro on top of the black paper. Lastly, place transparency on top of stencil pro face down. In subdued lighting, of course. Final step. Clamp the handle down just enough to make good contact. That positive contact thing again. Very important. Now to expose. I'll use sunlight first. Completely cover the window with a light blocking material. I'm using one of those knee saving garden pads. Set your timer to 30 seconds. Position the unit to face the sun. Start the timer and remove the cover. Cover as soon as the timer goes off. Now for artificial light. I'm using a 10 inch clamp light with a daylight bulb. Be sure the reflector covers the entire print gecko window. You don't want any shadows or hot spots. Center the reflector over the window. Turn on light and start timer. Light off as soon as timer ends. That's it. Develop Stencil Pro as usual. The next video will show you how to silk screen using the Print Cocoa machine, or more accurately, press print. Mm -hmm.